So, uh, Rim, I sent some some spies into a, a question. Yeah, I don't know they what's were, going on out they there. They were hiding deep in Canterlot Castle, right? One of the you know spies among the guards. And the rat, he came back to the radio station here. He told me there's some crazy shit going down. So, rat spies, that's what you're <laughs> using. You know you can just go to Equestria. Like, there's no visas as far as I can tell. Yeah, but I'm not a I pony. mean, Zakara just walked right in. No one cared. She wasn't a pony. <laughs> she's pony. She's close enough to being a pony. So you have to be pony-ish. You're saying they're racist. It is Equestria, right? I mean, that would be like if we lived in Humania <laughs> and you know, some freaking <laughs> Canadians showed up who are clearly so, not human. So what's going on here? Discord. Who the fuck is Discord? Uh, well, according to some uh, stained glass windows, which appeared to be the only historical record they used well, no, in no, Equestria. A- according to Celestia, he was a bad guy that she conquered with her sister. Yeah. What's up with that, right? Imagine if, like, you know, um, like Moses was around and it's like you didn't have to read about history or look at artifacts. You just talked to the guy who was still alive. Yeah. But then, it, like, the question is, it's like you sort of have to believe what he says. But do you? Because I don't trust Celestia at all. I don't think she's evil. Ex- I don't think well, she's clearly evil. Clearly not. She would have already been. Maybe. Maybe she has some sinister plan. Yeah. I don't think she's bad. I don't even think she's a troll. But I don't necessarily trust her, I, like, telling of the history of Equestria. Well, exactly. It's the, it's the story of the, the victors, right? The victors write the history. Yeah, so, so from what we can see, it Everything appears... is from her point of view, right? Before my sister and I stood up to him, he ruled Equestria in an eternal state of unrest and unhappiness. I'm sure if you asked Discord what happened, he'd be like, bitch, trap me in stone. She kind of did. It is very telling that, what does he say? Because I don't turn ponies into stone. I don't trap ponies in stone. Yeah. And now I wonder, one, why did she put him in a statue in the middle of the statue garden where apparently any childish argument is going to wake him up? <laughs> well, the childish <laughs> argument only woke him up because he wasn't trapped in stone by the same magic that the cockatrice uses. He was trapped in stone by the elements of So you're of telling harmony. me in the you know more than 1,000 years, probably like 2,000 years, since he was trapped there, nobody had an argument in that garden? No, they did have arguments in that garden. But what happened was is the power of the elements of harmony, right, counteracted the power of arguing in the garden, right? Plus there were no dictionaries in the garden. But the elements of harmony were not around. They were those like busted old stones even when after all this happened. No, they were around. It's just they were lost, but they were still attached. Like the Heron Spear? Well, the Heron Spear is lost, lost. That's a little different story. So, I mean, the, I mean but we, so Discord was there. Chaos It's more something. like the One Ring, right? It's still attached to Sauron, even though he doesn't have nah. it at this moment. Right? But so why did Celestia take this immor- like immortal enemy she had all this trouble with, had to use these great powers to seal, and just put him in the middle of it? Why isn't that statue like at the bottom of uh, Froggy Bottom Bog? Well, I'll tell you exactly why it's not the bottom of Froggy Bottom Bog, because a, she knows there's a really, really heavy hydra there who would have stepped on of accident. <laughs> <laughs> that would, have, would that have killed him or let no, him out? It would have let him out, probably. How do you, what if it killed him? Because I, I don't I think worry. he's the type to die from being stepped on. Because I worry. Otherwise, Celestia would have just speared him with her freaking horn. Yeah, notice how she didn't even try to fight him. And even so, she says, "Oh, I can't." She fight stomps him. her hoof at him. I can't fight him. I don't have the elements of harmony. You guys have to fight him. Yeah. Then when they don't have the elements of harmony, she still doesn't help. Well, because she's like, well, they're attached, right? Because even though you've lost them, they're still attached to you, right? That's like if Sauron was like, yeah, the. One ring's attached to me, and that oh, guy Hobbit over there has it. But you know what? You go take care of this. But here are my two concerns, <laughs> my main concerns that th- this, is, this is bringing to light. One, there's all these other statues in the garden that are of ponies and things. Yep. Are they all people she has turned to stone because they have opposed her? No, but I do think they all have meaning, right? So the friendship one probably is, is some of Celestia's friends from way back, right? Who then she memorialized, you know? And the victory one was probably from some, after some general of some pony war they won. Now, the victory one clearly was made because they would know that someday Rainbow Dash would appear, and it was really just for her. No, but it's not Rainbow Dash. It's not, I don't even think it was a... I think it was just an earth pony. I don't even think it was a, a unicorn or a pegasus. It had a star, though. It did have a star, but it also had a flag. Maybe representing, vic- representing, maybe representing victory from the outside, because so Celestia and Luna come in, and they're not in Equestria. Equestria is not founded yet. There's discord. Yep. 
they, they clear, it was very clear that Discord ruled Equestria, right? So well, that, the place where Equestria now is. Right. It might not have been called Equestria at that time, but he ruled. And he, she and says, all three kinds of ponies live there at that time. Luna and I saw how miserable life was for Earth ponies, Pegasi, and unicorns alike. That's the big one that she said that the, you know, the Pegasus ponies, the unicorn ponies, the Earth ponies were unhappy. So that does kind of shoot the shit out of my theory that the wings and everything came from, you know, bloodlines yeah, or whatever. Yeah, that's for sure. But simultaneously, there's still something weird going on with that because Discord is able to go boop and all that stuff disappears. Well, that's because he got loose, right? And the, the only thing that could beat him was the elements of harmony, right? So back when he ruled that entire country, Celestia and Luna, right? Basically, it, you can be pretty sure they lived in the old Pony Sister Castle yep. in the Everfree Forest. If it, it might now, not have I been the Everfree I, Forest at that time. When was that? Was that castle where they lived originally? Or after they conquered, did they move in? We don't know if that was their original house, but... But over a thousand years ago, right, while Discord was ruling what is now Equestria, they lived there at that time, whenever that time was, which is definitely more than a thousand years. So they lived there in that place while Discord ruled, and they wanted to kick his ass out and rule Equestria because the ponies were unhappy, but they couldn't. They couldn't beat him. He was more powerful than Celestia. That's why Celestia didn't even bother trying to fight him, because he was stronger. He's a Draconicus, and she's just an Alicorn, right? So, the elements of harmony... One per pony. Who else wielded them with her and her sister? I think it was different in those days, right? Here's why. Here's my explanation. So you're, there was no honesty and there was no generosity. Ready? No, there was, right? But here I've got some math for you. You ready, oh, you ready for this math? Oh, I'm ready. All right, here's how this math works. Let's so in those days, six elements of harmony. Ready? Yep. Right? Only two alicorns. They, Luna and Celestia went out to go get the elements of harmony. And then once they had them, they're like, aha, we got, it's like discovering nukes. We can kick Draconicus's ass now. You know, Discord's going down. And then they took them down, right? Together. There were only two of them, not six. Ready? But only those two. They didn't have anyone else with them to handle the six elements because it was three each. Because they're alicorns. So they're a unicorn and a pegasus and an earth pony. They can handle three ah. each. Three times two is six. Well, the other important so thing... So who's, who's which? So we'll give magic to Celestia. Yeah, she gets that clearly. Generosity... I think Celestia also gets loyalty to yeah. herself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and she needs one more... So honesty? She's I don't know if she's honest. No, I don't think she gets honesty. At least Luna, I think, gets the honesty. Yep. Right? Because she was just honestly evil and then honestly not evil. Was uh, she wasn't really evil. I think she was misguided. I'm I still just wonder, saying she was, there were those four stars. It was honest, whichever way it was. But she was, you know, banished to the moon. Then those four stars came and let her out. We still don't know what's up with the four stars, but the four stars we know are not related to Discord. No, but there's something. There's something. Um so what's the third element that you give to Celestia? Laughter. And then Luna gets the other three. Luna gets all the rest. All the rest. But here, here's kindness, another, I, honesty. I was hitting at this before. Generosity. What is this disturbing trend of Celestia just banishing the fuck out of anyone who crosses her? It's because she's got Batman syndrome. She can't kill anybody. Ah. That's why. So I mean, she could totally have just speared people with her giant horn, but she didn't. She totally could have her guards just, you know. I guess do the guards even have weapons? They're just Pegasi. Yeah. I don't even have horns. When they charged Luna way back when Luna was going all Nightmare Moon, they just charged her straight up. Like yeah, I guess, the, I guess she could have just, right? She's twice the size of anyone else at least. She could have just bumped into Pete, right? Now, they said ponies, Earth ponies, Pegasus ponies, Unicorn ponies in the time before Equestria. Yep. Didn't say anything about horses. She's not a horse. She's an alicorn. Yes, but look at the body shape. She is clearly a different race from the ponies. Yeah, she's an alicorn. Yes, so is her sister. Yeah. What about all the nephews and all the other? There clearly is a big family out there somewhere. Oh, you mean where the rest of the the royal yeah, family and, comes and from? Were there alicorns before Equestria in Discord's domain? And more importantly, how come none of them have both horn and wings? 